for now viewers uh, that's all coming in from Karnataka we shift our focus now to another interesting story that we've been tracking for you now the stainless gallery in New Friends Colony where the highly anticipated event palette and artists Odyssey is about to take place over the next two days this exhibition will showcase the extraordinary artwork of admit students and talented individuals from across Delhi schools who are destined for top art and design schools worldwide. The exhibition showcases 300 artworks from 34 students and what makes this event even more exceptional is the presence of the esteemed chief guest Jatin Das, a celebrated artist and recipient of the, Pad of the Padma Bhushan. Joining him are some of the most prominent figures in the art and design community including Pooja Sood, Lipika Sood, Savir Saran, Ramesh C. Gaur, Pratik Jain and Shobha Jolly. My colleagues have had exclusive conversations with these prominent personalities. Have a look. At this two-day exhibition, Palette and Artist ODC 2.2, we have seen such beautiful and such, such extraordinary artworks from talented students from Delhi schools and Ednet School of Art and Design. Today we have with us Jatin Das, who is the chief guest of this event and is a Padma Shri recipient. Padma Sir, Bhushan. Padma Bhushan recipient. Sir, how, how have you been? Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be here. Uh, how, do to feel, see that. how do you feel to be a part of this exhibition and being a chief guest at this exhibition? Uh, I, I'm so busy, I don't make much time to go as a chief guest, but because of students I go there. And uh, these, all these students, all the young people are talented, but they need proper guidance and they must learn from nature and not from the mobile, not from the internet. And so that is by one advice. And the other is the course should not be only for six months, it should be for minimum of two years to four years. Thank you very much. So this was Mr. Jatin Das, who is a Padma Bhushan recipient and is the chief guest of this event. Now I am with one of these 34 very talented, extraordinary artists, Rabia Hora. Hello Rabia, where are you from? Hi, I am from Gurugram, it's a very nice, it's very nice to meet you. So tell me about your piece, I think this is the piece that we are talking about. So tell us something about the medium you use, how did you make it, how much time did it you know, take for you to make this? So the piece is called Three Within. It took me quite a couple of days to make it. It's made of jute, uh, wooden board, clay and sand and stones. And I've used spray paint to cover it up. And the piece basically depicts how jealousy, insecurity and greed, they take over an individual's mind and they corrupt all the good and gold around them. And how these are like three emotions that completely can ruin a person when it goes out of hand. When you feel these emotions and you act upon them, you kind of let them lose and whatever comes out of it is never good. So it talks about how it's important for us to keep our emotions in check and how it's important for us to understand how powerful yet bad greed, jealousy and insecurity can be. And also, is it for sale? Yes, it is for sale. So the approximate price of this artwork is around 30,000 because um, a lot of handwork has gone into it. Yeah. And have you got any scholarship or anything that you're pursuing after this? Yeah, so I'm heading off to Parsons, New York for my further studies. It's a four-year course and I'm doing uh, fashion management. At Palette and Artist ODC 2.0, we have Antara Chatterjee who have made these three beautiful artworks. So I would like to ask her uh, the experience, how much time did she take, what mediums did she use to create such, integrate such beautiful artworks. Hi Antara, how are you? Hi, I'm doing great. Welcome to Palette and Artist Odyssey, guys. So here we have three different paintings that I have created. It took me around the span of two months to create all of them. They're all priced at around 2,000 rupees. Uh, and we have a range of 10,000, 2,000 and 5,000 here. I got into Parsons University in US and I plan on going and joining it in mid-August this year. I got a scholarship of $64,000 there. Here we have an Indian theme of paintings that I've created which symbolizes womanhood, femininity, valor, power. Here we have Lost in Melody, a painting I created. As someone who knows three instruments myself, I wanted to embody that into a painting because of my love and heritage of music. Here we have Varanasi Voyage, which shows a saint in deep devotion and it, it depicts how one can lose themselves in this devotion and co conquer all the woes and anguish in this world. We also have 
another painting here we've shown shape the lord of destruction and power in the form of a woman which shows a woman taking power and control over her life and conquering all challenges faced in this world so this was antara and the way she explained these artworks were truly extraordinary and magnificent such diversified artists such diversified artworks from these talented these extraordinary artists and now we have with us vanya who would tell us about her artwork big brother is watching so i'll just get back to her and ask her tell me something about this artwork so uh, i'm very honored to be exhibiting my artwork at um, palette today so this is my favorite artwork i would say which is titled big brother is watching this is something where i use my literary references and passion for uh, books uh, books in this piece it's inspired by george orwell's uh, novel 1984 and it shows the impact of surveillance states on a society it shows how we are constantly surveilled we are constantly being watched and how it can be an invasion of privacy to the to the citizens of the 21st century so this is an installation piece where i've used a variety of mediums whereas the center piece is an acrylic painting and these are cameras that i've created with leftover cardboard at my home to eliminate waste and to use the materials i've i've already ha i already have at home rather than buying new ones so this shows how someone can feel trapped in a in a state where they are constantly being watched so this piece is basically a commentary on how we are constantly being surveilled in society and how every action is policed by the government by our elders by the by really everyone in a in an age of this something uh, what is the price of this artwork so i put this artwork on sale for 10000 rupees i made this in a little bit of less than a week right before my applications were due um with my other artwork i've been able to win scholarships at many of the top us universities like parsons school of design california college of the arts and so what is the scholarship the maximum scholarship that you have got and for which college university so i've got an 80000 dollar scholarship from tat institute and a 100 uh, uh, and 100000 dollar scholarship from california college of the arts which is the maximum that i've got thank you so much so this was vanya who spoke about her artwork and her scholarship that she has got 80000 and 1 lakh so this is me brian anthony thomas signing off with camera person avinash from newsx new delhi this today exhibition palette and artist odc 2.0 showcases 300 artworks from 34 students today we have ma'am who is the managing director and the founder of ednet consultants and ednet school of arts ma'am can you just uh, introduce yourself and tell us more about yourself sure hi my name is niharika and i am the founder and the director of ednet consultants established in 2002 and ednet art school established in 2004 uh actually when in during that period i found that there was a huge void in the learning and the understanding of the students to create work which would get them in into the top schools that's how it started but during this journey i believe i helped them to really delve deep introspect and self respect and bring out their own unique voices um in their artwork so yes at at that art school we help them to experiment explore and find their own unique voice and come out with artwork compose it which is relevant and meaningful to them and i'm very happy to say that these kids are rejoicing now and as, as you all can see their work is gracing the walls of this exhibition and they're all now embarking to their journey or uh, to universities of their choices so i'm so happy for them and Yes the Ednet teachers have really worked hard and the team has really worked hard with these students during these challenging times when time is scarce so yes thank you with that it's a wrap on this bulletin we'll see you on the other side with more news and updates right here on newsx thank you for watching newsx